Going the distance for local sports. This is X Sports Today. Welcome to X Sports Today. I'm AJ Good, starting things off with high school football. Where Rogers over in the state of Alabama is gearing up for 2024. The Pirates are looking for a bounce back after a rough 2023. They think they've got the skill and the toughness to do so. Rodgers ended the 2023 campaign in disappointing fashion, going four and six. The year this team has taken a lot of motivation from. I think they learned that you know there are no shortcuts, you know, to success. And I think some, you know, everybody wants to win, but um, it takes the little things. It takes you know doing your job every second of every day, um, focusing on on what I'm supposed to do and not worrying about anybody else. You know, life's going to deal you a lot of obstacles. Some are fair, some are not. And you got to handle it and move forward. And I think I think our guys are are eager to, eager to prove that, that we can do that and we will do that. Maturity has been one of the big focuses for the Pirates in the off season, learning to grow up in big situations. And it wasn't that we were immature. It's that you know, in those tough situations, we've you know, maturity. I define it as when what you have to do becomes what you want to do. And so, you know, kind of having that mindset. And I've really seen a lot of that, especially how we handle tough situations as far as account accountability. You know, I think we got a lot of guys that want to be held accountable and want to hold others accountable. And, and to me, that's the secret of being, you know, a successful football team is, is those that aren't above, you know, being held accountable. Rogers returns a majority of its starters on defense, a group that is wanting to shut down the opposition. Got some good, you know, defensive. We feel really, really strong about our defense coming back. And, um, you know, I'm a defensive guy at heart, you know, so I take pride in that. Coach Kalen's, you know, been around for a long time, coaching a lot of defense. He coached me as the defense coordinator when I played here, you know, so he's really brought kind of the, the lay the wood mentality back. And, uh, you know, we're excited about our team. We feel like we've got a lot of good players. A lot, we got a lot of guys that might be quote unquote a, a role player, but they really embrace that role. And by them doing that, you know, they could be upset about touches or things like that. But they want to do what's best for the team. The Pirates also returned the bulk of its production in the backfield with stars at each position. It's great. We, it, it's going to be big for us. We, we got, like you said, quarterback and running back returning. A lot of offensive line returning. We got uh, five seniors on the line, senior tight end. So, so we're looking real strong in the backfield and with our line. And everything. Toughness is a mentality for the Pirates in 2024 as they want to show their muscle. It's got to be a mindset for us. You know, we're we're one of the bigger 3A schools. We think we have a good chance to be good this year. We, we just got to go out and do it. We got great players. We got experience. We have, I think, five or six guys both sides returning. We got a great team. We just got to be tough. If we're tough on the ball, it, it's going to be great nights for us. Coming up next, we head on over to college football to check in with UNA. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals, owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Truett's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truett's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truett's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gain Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize to meet every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. From the Exports Network, this is the UNA Report, presented by First Class Charter.
Welcome back to X Sports today. Now over to college football where UNA wrapped up an historic tenure over in Florence. Yesterday was Alliance final practice at the Bill Jones Athletic Complex as they get ready for Bank Independence Stadium. Friday was the final day of practice for the UNA football team at the Bill Jones Athletic Complex as construction crews continue its work on the new Bank Independence Stadium. The turf will be torn up and replaced with the new stadium that has set the open in a couple of years. The Lions will now move their practices to Brawley to get ready for Week Zero. Athletic Director Josh Looney says Friday was history in the making in Florence. Now it's time to make more when the new building is completed. An exciting milestone for us, right? And, and a lot of memories on this field, a lot of great athletes and, and great students have come through in this orientation. We'll be back here practicing in, in two years, but it'll be in a brand new stadium and, and a totally different look. And uh, now it's exciting. It's exciting to move into a, to a new turf complex and, and really this is another project milestone for Bank Independent Stadium and how North Alabama is growing. But definitely a lot of memories and it's a special day when, when you consider how many people have practiced, uh, at least in this field orientation over the years as, as it's set here. Now staying in Florence, but inside over at Flowers Hall, where the Lions volleyball team kicked off the 2024 season. The Lions held their first practice on Friday in Flowers Hall. This is a new look roster for UNA with over half being a freshman or a transfer. The squad went 17 and 12 in 2023 with a nine and seven mark in the A Sun. The Lions will have 20 days until their first match. Net coach Tristan Johnson says there will be a lot to go through over the next three weeks. Uh, great, great first start to the morning session. Uh, got a lot of good reps in. Uh, you know, when you've got eight freshmen that are that are relative, that are new and uh, one transfer that's new over half our rosters, new to the program. So there's a lot of, a lot of excitement, uh, but at the same time, a lot of teaching, a lot of learning. Uh, we talked at the end about how this is really a marathon and not a sprint. So uh, just really trying to take it one day at a time, one practice at a time, and make sure we're all on the same page uh, moving forward. So I thought it went really well. That does it for X Sports today. Have a great evening, a great weekend. We'll see you guys on Monday. This is the X Sports Network.